Lacey? All right, Katie, thanks. A uh, point where two or more bones connect is called a joint. Whether you're into sports or not, keeping our joints healthy is very important. There are two different types of joints. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Please welcome to the Morning Extra from the Westchester Hospital, Dr. Chaudhary, orthopedic specialist, and Troy Lucas, certified physical therapist. I think we keep you in business, don't we? <laughs> we're just telling him my son's into his third arm cast already, so thanks to you guys. <laughs> thanks for helping. So let's talk about the joint. Explain that to us, how many we have, and kind of how it works, it functions. Well, we have 206 bones and over 30 major joints. And a joint is where two bones come together and move and it's covered with cartilage at that area. So anywhere where the bones are moving together is termed a joint. Mm -hmm. Troy, let's talk about how they work and what we can do to minimize any kind of um, pain or any injury to those areas. Right. Joint pain can be caused in multiple different things. You can have your weekend warriors that hurt the muscles or tendons around it. Um, as our aging population, as our baby boomers grow, we have a lot more arthritis, um, patients with arthritis dealing with that. And we want to make sure you maximize the movement of that joint. So it's always good to always kind of do some warm-up activities before stretching. But if you can keep the um, muscles on both sides of the joint stretched out to their maximum, it allows you to use the full motion of that joint. And that'll help keep the uh, integrity of the joint and the... Uh, it would keep it healthy for a lot longer mm -hmm. period of time. And it doesn't have to be about playing sports. I mean, it's probably something we should do when we get up in the morning, just do a little bit of stretches, right? Whether you're young or you're old. Yeah. Stretches are a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it's always best to try to warm up, though, before that. And if you are in a lot of joint pain, if, it if it's after exercise, you want to make sure that you're also protecting your joints, mm -hmm. too. If you have pain after exercise, you want to make sure you're icing it down, raising it up, protecting it. If pain persists or swelling persists, that's when you need to follow up with a physician like Dr. Chaudhary. Sure. Tell us what, what you mean by warm-up. What, what does that mean? Um, it could be different things for different people. Um, basically, muscles stretch better when they're warmed up internally. So if you do any kind of an activity, whether it's riding a bike for 5 or 10 minutes or taking a walk around the mall for 10, 15 minutes or getting on one of those elliptical things at the gym, you want to do something to warm up your internal temperature of your muscles and tendons. That'll help them be more stretchable. And then if you can get a better stretch and then you have more motion in your joint. If you have a lot of joint pain and if you're talking about like your knee joint mm -hmm. and you only use it in a limited motion, it really wears down the surface of okay. that joint more. If you can use the full motion of your joint, it would help keep it healthier mm -hmm. for a longer period okay, of time. Okay, that makes sense. So what are the most common joint injuries that you see, doctor? Uh, most common joint injuries are tendonitis and bursitis overuse injuries that occur predominantly this time of year when it's getting a little more sunny, people are getting out more, mm -hmm. predominantly overuse injuries. Okay. And what about diet? Does that play a role in just staying healthy, keeping the joints healthy, the bones? Oh yeah, I mean, diet is good for everything, eating healthy, good nutrition, that I keep every system in your body healthier. So. Okay. And you have a big event coming up this Saturday. Uh, Saturday we have an orthopedic seminar occurring at Westchester Hospital. Uh, we have three orthopedic surgeons and a neurosurgeon. We'll be talking about general health maintenance and prevention of injury, as well as diagnosis of any pain and possible treatment options. Perfect. So there's the information on your screen. It's this Saturday from 9 to 11. There's the phone number. And, uh, of course, we'll put that on our website as well. You can click on the big red box under today's date. Good to see you both. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very much. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. The castle, twice the jewelry, half the price. This Mother's Day, get your mom a gift of love that will last forever. A real rose dipped in 24 karat gold, traditional gold, or hand painted lacquer rose. Your choice, only $39. Shop the castle for Mother's Day. Remke Biggs is the home of better shopping and bigger savings. And now Remke Biggs is introducing bigger, better pump perks. We've partnered with Speedway to help you get even bigger savings at the gas pump. Now there are two ways to save on gas. Earn on your total grocery purchase, plus get extra fuel discounts on over 2,000 specially marked items. This week only, save $5 instantly when you buy 10 participating items during our Mother's Day mega sale. Remke Biggs. Better shopping, bigger savings. It's just a regular day and the phone rings. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? It's a car wreck. Bad day. And the insurance company won't pay for the doctor or...